Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Christina here. I did a haul, and by I did a haul, I mean I spent more money than I should have. But I actually got products that I needed, so hey, I mean, I, I needed it, right? So let's go ahead and get into my first impressions. If you want to see what I got, you can watch my haul video. So yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay, so let's address the uh, elephant in the room. My hair is definitely shorter. I guess I really don't need this anymore because my hair is not going to get in the way. So this is the Pacifica Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream. I ran out of the face cream that I brought from Boston. I couldn't bring a lot because I have a carry-on and I'm not doing checked-in baggage. So this is what I got. I like how lightweight it is. When I tried it in the store, I really really liked how it just sank into my skin um my only problem with it so far is that it just it has this funny like smell i don't know maybe i'm just i'm not a big scent person you know i don't hate it but i don't like it it goes away after a while though i have tried i guess this really isn't a first impression if i've tried this but i tried it at the store and then a little bit last night um before i went to bed I like how it doesn't make my skin like super duper duper oily, but it still hydrates it so I don't have any weird dry patches. All right, hydrated. Ding. I'm really hoping that this camera is in focus because the last time I tried to film, it was not in focus. Another thing I got was this brush and this brush. This one is supposed to be a micro blending brush and then this one is supposed to just be like a skin perfecting one. I'm gonna use both. Um, I don't normally put foundation all over my skin, so I only spot conceal, so that's what I'm gonna do. So it's like, it's sinking into a brush, but I mean it's a brush, I feel like it always sinks in. I'm just gonna go over the spots that I feel like I'm just gonna need a lot anyway. Mm. I love how soft it is. I'm just, I know it's not like the best brush out there, like the best brush for me to have, but I also, I don't know. I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on a fancy brush set and then not like any of the brushes. So I decided to start small and just go with this guy, the Eco Tools. They're cheap and I, I mean I like the ones that I have, they do the job. Honestly, someone's going to have to convince me that brushes are a good investment because I feel like they're almost all the same. Hmm. I like the way it looks. Cool. So that was this brush. So first impression, I like it. I mean, it's a brush. <laughs> Not much else to say about that. I'm gonna move on and try the second brush though. This one I'm very excited about because I do use concealer a lot and I feel like sometimes my fingers just don't get the job done right. I'm gonna try it on these spots up here. I don't know, I'm kind of preferring applying this via brush instead of my fingers. I don't know. Okay, this is all I wanted very light coverage. I, I mean, I like it. I prefer it over using my fingers because I feel like my fingers are dirty. I mean, I wash them, but I don't know. The brush is a nice, a nice touch and it's just, I really wanted to like up my brush game. So, ta-da! So before I get to mention this, I forgot to mention that I also purchased this last night, but I mean, you guys know what this is. It's just like a facial hair shaver. I tried this last night and it's like any facial hair shaver. Um, what I really want to look for though is one like this, but that is either like a blade that I can use and all the time and not have to like throw these away because I feel like these are very, I don't know, wasteful because you use them a couple of times, the blade dulls and you throw them away and I feel like it's plastic, it's going to take a while to decompose and I don't want that. So I want to find something a little more or a less wasteful. So let me know if you guys know of anything like that. So the next thing that I got was this Pacifica Dark Circle Rehab Cream Palette. And I haven't really played around with color correcting stuff. And I wish I didn't put on the concealer because I kind of wanted to try um, some of these colors on my Skin, uh, to see if it could correct some like the dark spots. Now, I wish it said like what each one did on the package, like on the packaging itself. I took a picture of the box because the box actually talked about how, you know, which one did what. 
peach combats dark spots, dark circles, and mass signs of fatigue. Purple brightens dullness, fights yellow undertones, and beige neutralizes blue tones and blends unevenness. Let's start with this brush. So I wonder if I need to warm it up. Yeah, it looks like I gotta warm it up with my finger to get it to get it actually going. I guess I'll apply it with my finger and then blend it out with a brush. Oh, it's so pink. Did I did I put too much? I mean, I know I'm supposed to cover this up after afterwards. Okay, so there's the peach. I can't tell the difference. It just looks pink. Okay, so let's try let's try the one that fights. What is it? That fights blue undertone. Okay, beige. Beige fights the blue undertone. So let's try the beige. I wonder if this is gonna make my eye cakey. It actually did a really good job. Wow. Ooh, I look so much more awake. I like this. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go cover cover my face up. Cover or cover this stuff up. I like it. I, I like it a lot. Like I wanna play around with it more. I love the packaging on this. Like I'm obsessed with the packaging. That's another reason why I love Pacifica so much. Like not only are they cruelty free, 100 percent vegan, I just love the fact that they put so much effort into their packaging and they're so like aesthetically pleasing. And also the fact that they're cheap, or not cheap, that, <laughs> that sounds so bad. They're affordable, that's the right word. All right, so I've got a majority of my makeup on right now. Um, actually, I'm not really feeling lipstick, but we'll deal with that later. Right now, I want to show you guys the Pure Eyelashes uh, 3D Cruelty-Free Luxe Lashes. Um, and I cut them last night to fit my eye. I think I cut one of them shorter than it needed to be, so whoops, whoops, my bad. I really am not feeling this lip color with this look right now. So first off, the band is really thick. Like, it's a super thick band. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like thin bands are a lot more comfortable. And this is like made out of like fabric. Okay, first impression. Oh, it looks so nice. It looks so good. Definitely not natural looking, like obviously not that you could tell it's fake, but like in comparison to like regular drugstore lashes that you get at like, I don't know, anywhere. It definitely does look a little bit more luxurious. I did cut it a little bit too short. Ugh. Let's get the other one on and see how we feel. Ah, ah, I did it. All right, so this one I did definitely cut way too short. Like, it looks funny on my eye, so I think I'm gonna try to fix it with some um, eyeliner. I like the way they look a lot. I'm gonna take off this lipstick because I feel like it's very garish on me right now. All right, so there's that. Um, okay, so next up is hair. So let's take this off. So I wanted to buy some of Honest's hair products, but also I went to didn't have a lot of Honest beauty stuff or Honest hair stuff. So I got these samples, which is the sea salt spray and the moisture milk conditioner, leave-in conditioner. Do I just spray? What do I do? So this is for like wet hair. It's leave-in conditioner. Let's just see what it looks like. Okay, so it's just like a, like a mist. Ooh, oh, it smells nice. Okay, so I guess I'll just try this when my hair is actually damp. Okay, so this is the sea, this is the sea salt spray, which I'm very excited about. We're gonna just give this a shot. So I just spray it all over and scrunch, right? What does it smell like? Oh, it does have a fragrance. But it smells nice, like it, it isn't offensive. Ooh, oh I like that. Ooh, I am so liking this. Look at that volume that my hair has now. I am so not used to having volume, guys. Cause I had long hair that was like oily and it like dragged everything down or weighed everything down. So it was kind of just like the like all over. Okay, that's cool. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm so happy about this. Now I can't find the lid. <sighs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was informative in some way. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will go ahead and answer them and uh, leave me a comment on what you think of the new, the new do. 
hate it, love it, doesn't matter. I love it, so psh. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!